Welcome to The Monitor. As always, Peter Rubin, senior editor at Wired, back alive and in one piece from 2012 San Diego Comic-Con International, where I did my best to run our entire video team into the ground. So huge shouts to them for, for keeping up and churning out so many great videos, which I'm sure you've been watching all week. This week on The Monitor, instead of doing three different releases for the week, I'm actually gonna run down my 10 favorite things that I saw at Comic-Con this year. So let's kick this off with number 10. Marvel unveiling their next phase of movie domination. After the Avengers, we knew that they had stuff on tap. We knew there was going to be a sequel to Captain America and Thor and obviously Iron Man 3, and we brought you the first look at that suit over the weekend. But Marvel, at their press conference, officially unveiled titles and release dates for all those movies, plus Guardians of the Galaxy, which will be coming out in 2014. Number nine, The Majestic Files, J. Michael Straczynski's upcoming comic series in which he retells slash reimagines the Roswell UFO crash of 1947. Looks like it's going to be really good even if you're tired of that kind of story. Number eight, the community panel. Not the panel of the Comic-Con community, but the show community. Season four starts October and the new showrunners replacing Dan Harmon and the show's cast uh, packed into Ballroom 20 and actually showed us this incredible gag reel that's going to be on the upcoming Season 3 DVD. Number seven, the incredible prints made by Mondo, which is the boutique uh, art collective that is affiliated with Alamo Drafthouse Theater in Austin. They brought posters for sale to the show floor that included Game of Thrones, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Mimic, and a host of others. People were snapping them up. The, the limited runs were really, really popular and were beautiful to boot. Number six. Ryan Johnson's time travel sci-fi film, Looper. It's coming out in late September. I personally have been lucky enough to see it, but a lot of people uh, at Comic-Con packed into the panel to see new footage that they hadn't already seen in the trailer. As you may or may not know, this is Joseph Gordon-Levitt as a hitman in the future who has to come face to face with his even more future self played by Bruce Willis. It's an incredible, imaginative, original sci-fi movie, and I really hope that this picks up the steam that it deserves. Number five, Oz the Great and Powerful. Director and legend Sam Raimi is back with this prequel to this story that you may or may not know called The Wizard of Oz with James Franco as the would-be wizard. He's still just an inventor who takes off in a hot air balloon, finds himself in a magical land full of a special effects budget that mere mortals cannot even comprehend. Number four, Neil Gaiman is back for more Sandman. In a surprise video announcement, the writer announced that he would be returning for the 25th anniversary of the original 1988 launch of the Incredible Comics series with a new series, well, a new mini-series, rather, that examines where Morpheus was before the start of the series and how he got to where the series finds him at its opening. With art by J.H. Williams III, they also released one little teaser image that we're showing you right here, and I, as well as comic fans, couldn't be more excited. Number three, Django Unchained has a new sizzle reel. Quentin Tarantino meets up with Christoph Waltz from Inglorious Bastards, Jamie Foxx, Kerry Washington, Leo DiCaprio, and a host of other people for a, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call it a darkly comic tale uh, of a freed slave who becomes a bounty hunter in a Civil War era South. It is super violent and super funny, judging from the new footage that fans got to see at the Hall H panel this year. Number two, Pacific Rim and Elysium. Yes, these are two different movies and they would get their own and they might both be tied for number one if there was video to show you. But uh, Pacific Rim, which is Guillermo del Toro's upcoming kaiju robot versus alien warfare spectacular, and Elysium, which is District 9 writer-director Neil Blomkamp's return and his new space sci-fi with Matt Damon and Jodie Foster. They both had panels, they both showed footage for the first time neither of which had footage that actually we have to show you, but trust me when I say that each had a few minutes of footage that had fans going absolutely berserk, and both are two of the most anticipated titles of next year. But for number one, we have something that we don't have to wait until next year to see, and that is Peter Jackson returning with the Wizards at Weta for The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, the first of his two-part adaptation of The Hobbit, which of course is the 
prequel or the prelude to the Lord of the Rings trilogy. This is Martin Freeman as Bilbo Baggins and brings back Gandalf and a whole new host of dwarves or a whole old host of dwarves since you will know them as the predecessors to Gimli and the rest from Lord of the Rings. But this is the story of how Bilbo met Gollum, went on a crazy journey and found a certain ring that may propel the rest of the series. And that's that. A lot of stuff we saw this year. Not a lot of sleep we got this year, but that's okay because we're doing it for you. So until next week when we're back with more actual current releases, email us at themonitor at wire.com. And until then, inspirational catchphrase here. <laughs>